Hi there. Z here. Manly Z to you people. You can tell that I'm manly because I have these uh, kick-ass aviator shades and uh, my demeanor's all cool and composed and uh, ladies, I have protection on my head. Plastic protection. For you. But I haven't always been like this. I used to be a fat, overweight, virgin neckbeard like all of you are out there. And then something changed my life. Obviously for the better. Let me ask you males out here something. Do you want your dick to be so hard that it's like a rocket ship? And the rocket ship ejaculates lava. And you have chest hair that is just as sharp and rusty as barbed wire. And ladies, I'm not keeping you out of this at all. Do you ladies want a clitoris that turns into a buzzsaw whenever you want it to? Do you want to lactate sulfuric acid from breasts of fury? Are you at to the point of suicide where you are one frustrating event away to finally kicking out the chair underneath you? Um, actually for that, you, you might want to call uh, the hotline because uh, somebody will miss you. You are important to somebody. But... To everyone else out there, I have the perfect game to get your animal magnetism up and roaring. It's called... The end is nigh. <laughs> my throat! My throat! Honey, do we have any more of that chamomile lemon tea? Please tell me we have honey. <laughs> The End is Nigh is a game from the indie god himself, Edmund McMillan. The same man who created Binding of Isaac and Super Meat Boy, which is very prevalent in this game. I mean, this game just seems like the illegitimate love child of a threesome with Super Meat Boy getting Eiffel Tower between Binding of Isaac and Limbo. Which is great, because I love all those games. I know it sounds a little biased already, but biased out of the way, how's the actual gameplay you may be wondering? Well, very similar to Meat Boy, actually. But instead of lasers and buzzsaws you need to worry about, you have crumbling buildings, spiky enemies, crippling depression, and collecting tumors. Uh, yeah, yes, I did say tumor. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let's start from the beginning. Okay, we're going to load up one of my favorite games here. Uh, here we have... Uh, the End is Nigh. It's a classic, old-school platforming game, and, uh, you know, it's one of my favorites. One of my favorite games. This is the protagonist, a one-eyed gamer whose favorite game crashes, leaving him like most of us gamers would in the real world. Utter panic. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No! No, 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 no! No! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, God, no, this can't be broke. Here, let me get... Cartridge out. Okay. Oh no, it's still not working. Oh fuck! Fuck! What am I gonna do? Fuck! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, 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 wait! I know that man-childlike voice, and that scream is. God, it's so familiar. Dead for five years. Oh my god! No fucking way. This dude sounds exactly like Rich Evans from Red Letter Media. One of my favorite YouTube- It is Rich Evans from Red Letter Media from one of my favorite YouTube channels. Oh. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh, man. You know what? I am not feeling good about continuing this review. <laughs> the bias is so strong here. I'm sure you could smell my nerdgasm over your computer. I'm sure it's just tainting the back of your throat. And I'm sure it tastes like Doritos and blow-up doll plastic. But I will continue nonetheless. Bias alert, alert, alert. Okay, so his game breaks and he wants to go out in the world and find a friend and repopulate the world. And collect tumors on the side. Which I'm sure, like, any gamer would love to do if social anxiety wouldn't stop him. And this is where you begin. You walk from stage to stage to stage, area to area, just trying to collect all the tumors that you can. And some of them are actually really fucking difficult to get to. Hell, some of them you have to go to the next level so you can get high enough to jump back to the other level to go get the tumors. It's, it's insane.
Each level is like a combination between a puzzle and a platformer. Go over here, jump here, go back over there, watch for the spikes, go back over here. Back I said watch out for the spike! Oh, you piece of shit, now you gotta do the whole thing all over again. God. And don't worry, if you've never played Super Meat Boy or any of the Super Meat Boy clones out there, it's okay to die. Over and over and over again. A lot of times you're gonna die a lot. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Ugh. Fuck. Shit. You cunt. God. Ah. Uh, fuck you. Shit. Fuck. Damn it. Oh God. Fuck. Shit. What the hell? What in the fuck? <laughs> this is a fucking game. I gotta get a drink. I gotta get a drink. I'm gonna go get a drink. But with every 100 deaths, you will get one more stage closer to the end, and that little dark pit of despair in your chest, it'll have like a little glow, just a little candle sitting in there. And your vain hope that the next level will be easier. We'll just snuff it out anyways. And I would also like to talk about the soundtrack and the overall graphics of this game. They're both pretty beautiful here. Everything looks really smooth and really well done in the graphics department. That's nothing to be to be to complain about at all. The soundtracks, they're good. Uh, they're not like Super Mario 64 good, where I could just listen to them all day long. But they're good enough, and with every level, it's a new soundtrack. So things don't get stale, and you won't get tired of hearing the same thing over and over again. It's fine. It's nothing super great, but uh, it's good. I like it. And before you say anything to all those try-hard faggots out there that say, Oh yeah, yeah, Super Meat Boy was so easy, honestly. It's just it's just cause you suck at this game. A child could do it. You could kindly fuck off, okay? Take your overtly I'm so MLG smugness and go back to your Call of Duty montages because most common gamers will find this game so fucking aggravating that you will probably quit three times before finishing the first stage. Or, if you're anything like me, you already know it's going to be difficult by the very first few levels, but you won't let it beat you. Of course you're not gonna let it beat you. You're not gonna let it treat you like the bitch. It's the bitch, not you. And if you're asking yourself, Zach, what's the point, man? Why collect these tumors at all if you don't need them to finish the levels, besides being one of those 100% completionist cunts? Well, uh, the only thing that I could ever find is every so often, you will come across these creatures that will require a certain amount for you to unlock bonus stages for you to complete. And, uh, <laughs> and if you think this game was hard then, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't. But 800 deaths later, you walk out of there triumphant with the knowledge that your nerves of steel are as strong as Superman's hard on. Are you fucking serious? And honestly, that's all it is. You complete levels, you complete stages, find secret rooms, collect whatever tumors that you can, and just keep plugging away trying to get every single one that you could find. It comes down to how much patience you have with the game. Yeah, go ahead and cuss. Yeah, go ahead, throw random objects, kick your cat, cry on the couch, do whatever you gotta do. But if you keep coming back and chipping away at this game, you'll definitely beat it because there's... Really, so many. There's only so many times that you could die again and again and again and again until you finally pass it and move on to the next stage. And keep in mind that I've only gotten to like stage six. There's plenty of other stages that I haven't done, so there may be more cutscenes, there may be more gameplay that, ch that changes things up a little bit more. I honestly do not know. I spent about three hours playing it, and that was enough for me to get a good feel for this game. I say give it a shot though. It really is a fun, small kind of game where you could come back to at any time, play play a few rounds, leave, come back later on. It's it's it really is a good game to sink some of your time in with only it being fifteen dollars, I think. It's it, it it's definitely worth a look. If if you're into these type of games, I can like I said, I can guarantee you that a lot of people would be like, fuck this game, I died eighteen hundred times on the first thing, fuck it, fuck it, I'm out, you know. 
But that's not me. <sighs> I guess it all really depends on your skill of with how much you're gonna be you're gonna be playing on this game, but it's not important. For fifteen dollars, you'll at least get a handful of hours on this game, and then more if you want to complete it at a hundred percent. If you need to finish this game at a hundred percent, go ahead and have fun with it. If you don't want to do it and you just want something to rub into the faces of the users on that one forum that nobody fucking cares about besides you, this one might be your example. At any case, just have fun with it or. Have as much fun with it as you can before you scream, you punch your monitor, and then you walk away.